the number one difference between osteoporosis and osteomalacia is this that osteoporosis is a quantitative problem of bone pathology when osteomalacia is a qualitative disorder what do i mean by this it means that in osteoporosis the main problem is that bone's total quantitative mass that has been decreased the quantity wise the mass has been decreased but the bone which is available its chemical composition is normal in osteoporosis so it's a quantitative problem in osteomalacia the problem is qualitative the bone which is available its chemical composition is abnormal because it don't have enough calcium or inorganic mineral matrix because typically osteomalacia occurs due to vitamin d deficiency which is required for the absorption of the calcium and you know in the bone bone basically we have some cells like osteoblast osteoclast osteocyte plus a key composition in the bone is the hydroxyapatite which is made of calcium and phosphate so due to vitamin d deficiency in osteomalacia impaired mineralization of the bone occurs as a result bone <coughs> chemical composition is abnormal and it's a qualitative problem compared to that osteo porosis is a quantitative problem of the bone i'll give you another example let's think that you went to market and purchased a 250 g any food item it could be a dark chocolate let's say and it is written over the cover that is a 250 g you brought it at home and you check what is the total weight of the dark chocolate you found that total weight of the dark chocolate is not 250 g but let's say 218 g or 212 g 212 rather than 250 so here what has happened that quantity wise you have got less amount so it's a quantitative problem let's imagine another day you went to the market you also purchased 250 g dark chocolate it is written over the cover 250 g you purchased it and then you check what is the total weight total weight is 250 g this time but the chocolate the quality wise it is very poor it looks expired or rotten so this is a qualitative problem so i hope you now understand the difference between quantitative problem and qualitative problem in osteoporosis it is a quantitative problem the bone which is available chemical composition wise is normal but but the total amount is reduced but in case of osteomalacia which typically occurs due to vitamin d deficiency due to impaired bone mineralization the total mass is not affected there but what is affected is the composition of the bone it's a qualitative it's like the dark chocolate total weight of the dark chocolate is okay 250 g but i the gave the example i gave but what is happening that the chocolates are all rotten you understand so qualitatively defective so osteoporosis is a quantitative problem where the quantity reduction in the total bone mass and osteomalacia is a qualitative problem but the main problem is impaired mineralization of the bone which typically occurs due to impaired mineralization means it's like a cement which makes the bone if i build a house with poor or less quality cement or poor quality cement what would happen the house would not be very weak unstable similarly the bone is very weak in the osteomalacia due to same reason due to impaired mineralization and that's why the bent weakly also so this is the fundamental difference between osteoporosis and osteomalacia osteoporosis is a quantitative reduction in the bone mass it's a quantitative problem in the bone pathology osteomalacia occurs due to impaired bone mineralization due to vitamin d deficiency and it's a qualitative problem quality wise the bone is defective there that's the fundamental difference thank you so much